Okay, we're back here in the Zip server booth. Some of these uh, videos that I uh, did on the first day uh, did not come through too well, so I'm in the uh, Citrus Provisioning Server for Data Center's uh, pod. I'm here with uh, Dan, so Dan, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, uh, my name is Dan Lazar, and I'm a lead escalation engineer uh, with Citrix, uh, specializing in provisioning server for data centers. And um, this product is really great. Uh, how many times have you wished that you could uh, retask a server in a matter of minutes? You, you have a server doing something, and all of a sudden your users are asking for more and more and more. You need more power for your IIS segment. You need more... Uh, horsepower for your SQL Server farm. Well, provisioning server allows you to do that with a click of a mouse. Uh, by reprovisioning uh, disks on the fly and streaming them across the network, all you have to do is reboot a, a cluster of servers and they go from IIS to uh, SQL Server to Red Hat to whatever you want. And that's really what uh, provisioning server does for you. It's, uh, it is the ultimate uh, provisioning tool for the data center. and it gets you one large step closer to becoming a true delivery center instead of a static and slow data center. All right, excellent. So let's take a look at your demo. Uh, so this is actually the client machine which is currently running off of the VDisk. And as you can see, this, this machine is completely loaded by a virtual disk. This, this disk is a file, in effect, on the provisioning server, and it is being streamed in real time to the machine itself. Uh, you can see that the performance is uh, indiscernible from uh, a machine running a local hard drive. Um, it has uh, status and notification tools built into it so that you can tell that you are active with the provisioning server, that you are currently connected and streaming, uh, and you get statistics on the uh, environment and how it's configured. Um, you can get performance statistics as well. And uh, on the other side, if you look at the server, um, we'll just switch over real quick. And what you see on this end is a uh, user-friendly console that uh, is, uh, allows you to easily allocate virtual disks to a server, uh, create them and manage them, and then assign them to target devices and uh, uh, dynamically uh, reprovision servers uh, in mass quantities just with a couple clicks of your mouse. So you can do both shared and private damage. Why don't you explain to the audience what the difference is? Well, basically, you know, if you know, one of the real powerful features of provisioning server is uh, the ability to have this many-to-one relationship between a virtual disk and um, uh, a group of servers so that you can have uh, a rack of multiple servers that are all using the same hard disk, virtual hard disk, at the same time. And the way we do that is by enabling the standard image option for the VDisk, which basically puts the VDisk into a read-only mode that prevents any permanent write operations to the disk uh, while in that mode, the user's experience is transparent because we're simultaneously maintaining a write cache that's temporarily uh, monitoring any write operations to the disk. Those those write cache get the write cache gets uh, flushed and removed at the time the machine reboots, so that as you reboot the computer, if you're reverting it instantaneously back to its original state. And by doing that, we can maintain um, the consistency of the system and all of those servers. Uh, and boot off of that disk without any problems, without any conflicts. All right, thank you so much, Dan. No problem.